Auto Line at CES is brought to you by Magna and Sabic, and by Borg Warner, Bose, ETAS, and Gentex. We're sitting down right now with Dr. Thomas Irdawan. He's the CEO of ETAS. And okay, first, Thomas, I've never heard of ETAS before. I'm sure a lot of the viewers have not either. What the heck is ETAS? <laughs> Okay, so let me, let's, uh, let me start at, uh, at the beginning because ETAS has been established already in 1994 as a 100% uh, subsidiary of Bosch. And I think it's since then well known for, as a source for hardware, software, tools and services to make automotive embedded systems safe and secure. And then uh, recently, end of 2021, Bosch um, consolidated its universal vehicle software development within ETAS and repositioned the entire company um, and consolidated all universal vehicle software development within ETAS. Um, and um, yeah, um, that's now our new uh, ETAS 2.0, uh, focusing really on the non-differentiating software, um, helping and enabling to yeah, make the software-defined vehicle a reality. Well, look, that, you just hit on the term as to why I wanted to sit down and talk with you. Software-defined vehicle. Yeah. One of the hottest topics in the automotive industry right now. Uh, but, you know, when I talk to different people, I get different sort of definitions of what yeah. it is. How do you define it? So to make it very simple, for me, a software-defined vehicle, in contrary to the past well, soft, where, the, where the car, the vehicle, was mainly defined by hardware, like horsepower and stuff like that, today it's more and more defined by software. And it's like, like your smartphone, right? I mean, it's like what everyone has, um, a smartphone with nice functions and features, continuous updates, always online, you get, and it's basically getting better and better even though you don't buy a new hardware. Yeah. And that's really the car in the future will be defined by software. And from my point of view, that changes massively um, the customer and the consumer expectations because they want to like to have a fully integrated car into their life cycle. That's right. But it also changes the way that vehicles get uh, designed, right? How they yeah. get engineered. You, yeah. you have to start with yeah. the software. Exactly. So that, that's a very interesting transition, what, what is going on. So in the entire automotive industry, um, I, I would best summarize it always with the uh, acronym SPACE. So SPACE stands for software is rapidly growing in combination with personalized, automated, connected and electrified vehicles. And with this transition, um, software is really yeah, uh, in the center now. And that means all the OEMs, all the players need basically to enhance their software development capabilities. We need to change the way we develop software. Because in the past, we had this, let's say, slow software development cycles, like every model year, you make a new car with new hardware and new software. And now hardware and software is decoupling more and more. It's changing dramatically the way we develop software. Software is now continuously developed. We have here everywhere in our ETAS booth, we have this nice infinite loop. We call it the DevOps cycle. And this is the way we need to develop software now, independent from hardware, continuously, incrementally, always better and better. Well, there's a real advantage to that, right? You know, because you can make changes with software far faster than you can with hardware. Yeah. That's always been one of the criticisms of the auto industry is it moves so much slower than the tech industry. I would imagine this is going to help it pick up the speed. Yeah, but there's a challenge because the automotive industry, a little bit in contrary to the other industries, uh, IT industries, they have some legacy and they need to take care also safety. And they have some embedded ECUs, which are still very slow in the development. And you have cloud native um, methods, meanwhile, in development, where you can develop a very easy app on the car very fast. But you need to synchronize that, because at the end, the slowest part is defining the bottleneck. Mm -hmm. And therefore, now we're coming from this like three months, six months development cycles now down to months and weeks. And our target as ETAS is to enabling also um, our automotive uh, or the entire automotive industry, our customers to do that, I would say within a day or a week until release. That's fast, that's, that's, that's amazingly fast. fast. So 
obviously the automakers are going to want to define their vehicles and software. Uh, how does ETOS fit in? Because yeah. uh, I'm sure the automakers would like to control as much as they can. They probably cannot do it all though. Yeah, but you know, ETOS fits in very well because um, we are really not competing with any of the, the OEMs. We would like to help the OEMs to manage their software complexity because in this transition I just described uh, more towards software, also uh, the amount of software in the car, the share of, uh, of software in the car is increasing and therefore the software complexity. And our task as ETAS, or as, as we would like to be, is to enable our customers to cope with that complexity so that they can focus on developing differentiating function and features for their end customers, that has value, and uh, we basically master together with them their complexity so they can focus on the differentiating part. So ETAS um, is really um, an enabling company that's already in our acronym, so empowering tomorrow's automotive software means we collaborate with OEMs, tier ones and other Oh, tier suppliers. ones too. Tier ones too, yeah. We are an independent brand, we collaborate with everyone to make the software defined vehicle reality and therefore we fit in very well. You know, I only learned about the software defined vehicle in the last year or two or so. How's it coming along? How, how's the industry doing? <laughs> so from my point of view, we are still too slow. Um, and looking to some challengers, I don't say no the famous names, but there are some challengers out there uh, and new startups, they do already software deployment fully homologated within weeks from the idea to the road. That's amazing. That's amazing, but that's a target. And it's possible. So we are developing now solutions. In our portfolio, we have basically all the solutions, not already finally developed, but uh, in the portfolio, which you need to make the software not only fast, but also safe and secure. Because I think security is also, is not an underestimated topic, but it's sometimes maybe coming at the end. But for security, I think you need to start at the beginning because it's about the entire life cycle. It starts in the development already. Make your development secure, make your manufacturing secure, make your vehicle secure, make your backend and cloud solutions secure. Yeah. So very interesting, you know, before all this started, it would probably take about four years, maybe longer to develop an yeah. all new car. I got to imagine this is going to go a whole lot faster now. Yeah, I would say it depends still on the uh, evolution of the EE architectures. I think it's still giving a little bit the pace, the different EE architectures, how they evolve. But this is the hardware part from my point of view only. The software stream is now completely independent because hardware and software is decoupled. And that's also part of Inter's portfolio. So we have middleware solutions, base software solutions, where we really do the abstraction. And then you have the opportunity to develop your software much faster and completely independent from this still, uh, let's say, from this cadence of new EE architectures, which are anyhow evolving. Um, but that's then a continuous uh, thing. And um, I if I would like to quote uh, one famous CEO, he said, uh, in the past, you, you you bought the car and then it was uh, the best you ever bought and now if you buy a car in the future I think it's it's the worst you ever bought because it will continuously improve and get better and better every day just like our, our phones. Dr. Thomas Irwan, thanks so much. Very interesting learning about ETAS. Thank you very much. Through Blue Hero, SABIC is helping the industry create better, safer, more efficient electric vehicles. Learn more at sabic.com slash bluehero.